Hello friends, uh, this is an exciting topic we are covering today is about excitement itself. Okay, how do you keep yourself excited and motivated to take actions? Because anything you do doesn't matter if you are an entrepreneur, you are a, into your network marketing business or you are, uh, you know, uh, having any other traditional business or if you are a creator, you want to create your content uh, on a daily basis, um, you can be um, an investor or you can be any kind of a venture you do in your chosen uh, profession or chosen career or whatever you want to do outside your career you will always realize that uh, you know the inspiration or motivation to do things is extremely important okay and then you will also realize that you are not always motivated to do things um, sometimes you are excited sometimes uh, you are pumped up and sometimes you are not okay so most of the average people we go on a yo yo kind of a curve where you are sometimes excited and then something happens and, uh, you know, you are kind of, uh, you know, lost all your excitement and belief. And then suddenly, you know, you, you have something uh, you, you listen to, you, you attend a seminar or a conference, you get excited about it again. And this is kind of a yo-yo uh, which always happens. Okay, so going up and down, okay, excited and sometimes you are not excited. Um, what is uh, you know the difference then between a successful person in any chosen field or somebody who is success, unsuccessful? Successful people are also, they also go through the same yo-yo. But the only difference is okay, that yo-yo phase, you know, they uh, start or, uh, you know, they, they straighten the entire yo-yo phase over a period of, period of time okay so that means okay the successful people are the people the excitement they always keep themselves excited that means you know the 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 excitement is when it comes down so they know that okay this is the time then they have to get their excitement back up okay so that means they say that it's not how long you are excited or motivated but how, you know, no, so, sorry, how big is your excitement and how much is your excitement, but how long can you create your excitement or keep your excitement going? That is what matters, okay? So how long, the duration of time, okay? It doesn't matter. So you may be excited beyond your wildest imagination right at this point of time or today or certain duration of time. It cannot be usually whole day as well for 24 hours it's usually momentary excitement and then what happens that uh, you know life strikes you you go through uh, you know your um, you know job challenges or family challenges and other stuff then what happens is your excitement drops down so how then the secret then um, of success is not having a big dream big dream ambition and you know um, you know, big aspiration in life. That, don't take me wrong. That is extremely needed. That is extremely essential. But again, it what it boils down to is not how big is your dream, but how long can you dream big? Okay, how long? Okay, is your dream big is for a few minutes or a few hours or a few days or is it for a few months and few years? So you just have to evaluate that, okay? And that is what, you know, differentiates successful people from unsuccessful people, okay? So now you have to understand then how can you keep yourself excited, okay? So for that, we have to understand the human psychology, okay? How does that human psychology work, okay? And how, if you understand how, how our human psychology works, then you will understand how you can keep yourself excited all the time, okay? So let me share my screen and we can get ourselves started right away. How do I keep myself excited and motivated all the time? Now this uh, chart or this uh, picture shows a lot of, you know, it shows thousand words, it speaks thousand words, okay? What does that mean? So that means now if you see, 
okay right, left side and the right side left side you know is we are talking about dream and right side is the fear okay so that means our human psychology uh you know the thought processes okay how we how we get to do things whatever we you we want to do it's either driven by dream or driven by fear okay so dream or fear these are the two things okay so that means if early in the morning in a winter uh you know morning when it's dark and you are preparing yourself or getting up and doing everything is needed to dress up and go to work what is that driving you that's the dream which is driving you okay now the second thing is uh you know fear okay so now okay i, I am wrong there okay it's not the dream but it's the fear which is driving you okay the, the right side okay now wh why is it fear why is it not a dream so that means you do not go to uh, go to your job with a dream in your head that okay i want to do this and that and that okay that's usually not the case okay maybe you are an exception but not usually the case so you get up early in the morning you get uh, you know when it's a rainy and it's cold and uh, you know uh, in spite of you not feeling well when you are going it's not that you are passionate that okay i have a dream to accomplish no it's the fear fear of what fear of losing your job okay that means fear of not able to putting food on the table fear of uh, losing the finances or the income so that is what drives you okay so that the fear but in a business especially you are in a side hustle if you are uh, uh, you know at, at um, along with your own job you have an uh, you started a business of your own okay then what happens is the dream which drives not the, uh, the fear okay any business you, because if you are uh, you know fear driven probably then you know you may not be willing to do a business because you may uh, go and look for another job why because any business you do you know uh, you cannot or you will never make instant money okay you have to put the efforts you have to learn the trade okay it takes time but in a job you can instantly start to make money so that is the difference so that means job is fear driven and a business is always a dream driven thing okay and people who have dreams in their heart okay first of all is the dream so you need a dream and the second thing is you have to keep your dream alive okay that means we discussed earlier how long can you dream okay and that is what it matters so how that means how big not your uh, your dream is how big but how long can you keep that big dream alive that is what matters okay then the question boils down to is how do i keep my dream alive because things happens and i my dream is suddenly lost and i am no more excited okay and what do i do so these are the four things you can do to keep your dream um, you know um, always uh, going for you so that means keep yourself motivated okay first is vision board what is vision board so that means writing down or putting pictures of your vision or your dreams somewhere where you can see it on a daily basis your vision so that means if you want to have that freedom from your from your business so have a picture of you relaxing okay and enjoying you know that that is what the freedom looks to you and you can put a picture write in uh, in a something you can put together called vision board okay where you have pictures where you have writings so that is what will inspire you okay so not only putting the pictures but more importantly on a daily basis you are looking at it multiple number of times so that is what it counts okay it doesn't matter so that means it will not help if you just put it stick it all together and put it up somewhere and you are not looking at it okay it has to be fidgeted on a daily basis on a on a regular basis okay so they say that even the smartest phone in this world has to be charged okay so we as humans okay even if you are the smartest human uh, human uh, human being if you think you are still you have to be charged and the charging is 
the vision board. And charging is, you know, the, the right side, if you see, it's a journal. So that means journalizing it, writing it down, whatever is your plan, whatever is your goal, writing it down definitely helps your subconscious mind starting to work on it. Okay. So next thing is meditation. Okay. Meditation is sitting quietly and just thinking about just one thought. Okay. Or observing something, just one thing. Okay. And what happens in this meditation is, uh, you know, you always revisit your dreams, aspiration, goals, and why you wanted to build this business. And that will inspire you. And last but not the least is self-talk. Talking to yourself, that creates a lot of buzz and excitement. Hey, I am a champion. I am making things happen. I am quite successful. So you speak things in existence at this point of time, at the present moment of time. Okay, then you will see the success. Okay, so these are the four powerful ways. Okay, you can keep yourself motivated. Because, and these ways are not the ways if you are not practicing it, all those four on a daily basis and more frequently you do it in a day, okay, the better your chances is for success, you know, uh, quicker. Okay, so I hope it made some sense to you about four different powerful ways you can start to get yourself motivated, inspired to do things, take action. Okay, so with that, I am done. And uh, until the next video, over and out, keep growing, keep, keep learning, and see you in a few days. Okay. Later. Bye.